Stop. Pay attention. We're gonna be playing a little game. We're gonna be placing images of a few Animal Jam items on your screen. And your job is to keep a rough value of what they might be worth in your head. Ready? Here we go. Alright, so now that you've got the values in your head, there's something we have to tell you. All of the values that you gave the items were completely wrong. Wanna know why? Keep watching as we reveal the secrets of community behavior and conformity here on Animal Jam Brain Games. Alright, so as promised, we're going to tell you why these items aren't worth nearly as much as you might have thought they were. There's an effect known as the Information Cascade Effect. It gives a description of the event like so. When people start passing on information they assume to be true but cannot know to be true based on information on what others are doing, this is known as Information Cascade. This effect is severely amplified when the source material is not trustworthy, either by the user or the general public. So how does this relate to Animal Jam items? Well you see, Animal Jam items don't really have fixed values at all. It depends only on demand for the item. And this system, don't get me wrong, but this system is very, very easily cheated. Why? Because any person with a good reputation and trustability can give false values of items and easily cause a big surge in demand for an item. Take for example when Apari said party hats were underrated. They saw almost a triple in their value and that was all because his fans said they were worth black longs to their friends. Then their friends told their friends and this cycle continued to a point where somebody who didn't even know about a party and had never heard about this guy, he thought that party hats were worth black longs and that is how this cycle spreads misinformation. The Animal Jam Rarity System is a very unstable balance that can be toppled over by even the slightest of a change. Another great example is when AJ Chu said that never leasing a risk again because people thought they would be rare. They became rare. What if I told you that I could change the way you thought about a particular item without telling you what it's worth? Would you believe me? Let me show you with this experiment. In this experiment, we've got a few people sitting in a room who've been told that we're doing a survey to find out values of certain rare items. But here's the catch. Everybody except the people who are circled in red are all actors. They've been told to tell either high or ridiculously high prices for the items that I'm gonna put on trade. Now here, see for yourself how the other people's opinions on the values of the item affects the volunteers' estimates.
notice anything weird in round 3? The thing is that the estimates reduce by a very very large amount if another person is also skeptical of the views. In this case, the tiger. Another very interesting thing that happens in this experience is that when a very rare person says the item is worth more, it is far more likely that the participant will believe them. Now here's a question, would you scam someone if somebody gave you the choice to? The first answer that would come out of your mouth inevitably before thinking anything would be no way. But the reality is far from this. You see, in an experiment called the Milken Experiment, participants were led to believe they were assisting an unrelated experiment in which they had to administer electric shocks to a learner. The experiment found unexpectedly that a very high proportion of people would fully obey the instructions, albeit reluctantly. So basically, they listened to a higher authority telling them to shock people with amounts that would be fatal. The Animal Jam Rarity System is a very complex system based on several values, which is actually a lot more disadvantageous than you may think it is, and it is very, very closely related to conformity series. Many times you may have heard some of the advantages of playing Animal Jam is that kids get to learn about how the real life markets and economies work through these things called supply and demand. Although on a fundamental level this may be true, comparing these two we can just see how wrong it is and how wrong the comparison is. The real life economies work on supply and demand. But in Animal Jam, for most rare items, there are no supplies, only demands. Therefore, all the values of items are decided by a few factors, mainly including demand, availability, influence, tradability, appearance of the item, and several other smaller factors. But these five are the most major. For example, the rarest item in the game, the beta eyeball hat, has a very good demand, is really hard to find, as the influence of some of the biggest Animal Jam YouTubers is easy to trade away and also looks very nice. Therefore, it has a much higher value than an item like, say, a black long spike collar. Speaking of spike collars, you can actually see a very good example of how this 5 tier system works. Although its availability is very high and it's really easy to see up to 14 people in a room with a black claw, its influence, looks and demand make it very valuable. Using these 5 factors, you can also determine how valuable an item is. Anyways, I hope you learn something new about yourself and your brain from us today. Keep thinking, stay curious. Thanks for watching.